have an epiphany story for you this morning. Um, it's a different take on what it means to go home by another way. It's a, a based on a Jewish folktale. There was once a man who was very dissatisfied with his life, very frustrated with his life. He got up one morning feeling this frustration deeply and he said to himself, I know life, my life, can be better than this. I want my life to be better than this. And um, as he walked out, he opened the door and it squeaked. He thought, ugh. He closed it and it squeaked. And his wife said to him, you think maybe you could fix that door? And he thought to himself, she's always nagging about something. I know life can be better than this. And he went out and he saw the kids playing in the yard and their, their things, their um, shoes were strewn about. He thought, ugh, you know, this is, uh, life can be better than this. He walked out his gate and closed it and the latch was broken. He thought, this is the last straw. He was so frustrated, he walked away. And he kept walking and the only thing that was important to him was to make sure that he walked in the same direction, away from his house. And he came to a place um, that looked like it would be good to sleep, soft grass under a tree. And he very carefully took his shoes off before he went to sleep. And he pointed them in the direction he was walking, away from his house. And when he woke up the next morning, he um, looked at his shoes very carefully, marking the direction he should go. Put his shoes on, and he went that direction. He walked all day long until he found another place to stay. And he took his shoes off, pointed them in the same direction, very carefully. He did that a third day. Only that night, something turned his shoes around 180 degrees. Now, it might have been a goblin, it might have been an elf, it might have been an angel, it might have been a hedgehog. But he was very careful to note the direction of his shoes when he put them on. And he walked that direction for three more days. And at the end of the third day, he came to what looked like a beautiful village he could see uh, in the valley below. And so he walked toward it. And now a beautiful house. He thought, what a lovely house. There were kids playing in the yard. He opened the gate and he closed it and the, the latch wasn't working. And he thought, oh, I can fix that. He noticed the kids' things were strewn around. He thought, well, kids will be kids. He looked at the house. It was a lovely house. And he saw through the window a beautiful woman. And he went in. And as he opened the door, the door squeaked. And he thought, I can fix that. As he closed it, it squeaked again. And the woman said, do you think maybe you could fix that? And he said, I bet I can. And she walked up to him and smiled and gave him a kiss. And he thought, oh, you know, I knew life could be better. And as it happens, he was right.